Hello, hello, everyone. It is time for the long-awaited <laughs> um, 2K subscriber giveaway announcement. So I've been talking about it, and I just have been, honestly, I've been sitting here stressing out thinking, what am I going to give away? There's so many things you can give away in a coloring you know, channel. I mean, pencils, books, uh, gift cards. <laughs> um, so at first I was going to do pencils, but the problem is, is I would have to limit it by country. And I do have a lot of you wonderful subscribers who are around the world, Australia, um, the UK, Japan. So I didn't want anyone left out. So for this one, until I work out or figure out a way to include all countries otherwise, <laughs> um, I have decided that we will be giving away a $50 Amazon card um, to the winner. So I will get into more details about that in a second, but I thought what would be fun is I have gone back from when I hit 1,000 subscribers to 2,000 subscribers and picked out all the pages I have colored that had the most um, comments on Facebook and Instagram and also the most views on YouTube itself. So I thought that would be fun to kind of go back through some of them because some of these pictures are actually older but uh, they've created a lot of views and I've gained a lot of subscribers from them. So it'll kind of be like a blast from the past on some of these. So yeah, I thought I would do that and then kind of just chat about some things and then at the end we will talk about the details for this giveaway. So this one here, uh, this is actually my first experience coloring a PDF. So I was very new to PDFs. I was, this was like brand new full portrait I've ever done um, because portrait faces scared me. I was okay with hair. <laughs> but the face, I was like, ah! So I did this one actually last year for Halloween, and I got a ton of great feedback from you guys on social media and my YouTube channel. So I thought I would show it again. But this is from Kundank's Art. Uh, she's one of my favorite on Etsy. And she, amazing work, but she had like this four or five pack of Halloween. So I did this whole thing with luminance, except the skin. The skin was pan pastels. And I had a load of fun with that one. Okay, this one is very recent. Um, it was last month. <laughs> but I have gotten a ton of people um, who have enjoyed this one. And actually quite a few of you su like subscribed to my channel because of the red hair and helped push me over the 2K mark. So I, I definitely wanted to show that one because I had noticed it did get a lot of attention and I appreciate all the sweet comments. Um, you know, it's always hard when you're, you're coloring and you're like, you feel semi-confident in your skills, but to put them out there for like literally the world to see, it can be rough because you're like, well, maybe it's not that good. And you're constantly self, you know, second guessing yourself. And so I got such great feedback from so many of you about this one, and I really appreciate it, honestly. It was, it was like uplifting to know. <laughs> it didn't look like crap. <laughs> okay, so surprisingly enough, I have a few pages from a single book that um, seemed to catch a lot of people, and which I'm thankful for because they're all marker, and I am still new to marker work, but... All right, these are all Hannah Lynn. So I did this one with Ohuhu's right after they came out with the pastel set. So I did her hair. I was trying to do like a hologram thing. Holograph? Hologram? Whatever the word is. Uh, style with the pastels. And this one got a ton of feedback on my Facebook and Instagram. And then a lot of you in my you know, finished pages for this one, really liked it. So I appreciate all the awesome feedback I got on that, especially because I suck at doing skin with marker. <laughs> so thank you. And then here's another one, <clears throat> same book, got a mermaid and marker thing going on. Uh, these were also Ohuhu. I actually did a red, simple, like, 
three color red hair blend for beginners um, on my channel. It's so hard because the camera doesn't show the depth of the color. They're in there, but I actually got a lot of positive feedback from you guys and you were all very sweet. And a few of you even mentioned, um, you know, how it helped you. So that, that meant a lot because that's kind of the entire goal of this channel is to help you color, not just look at things. <laughs> so I'm not really sure if this picture is supposed to go this way or this way, or this way. I mean, I don't really know what the orientation this was meant to be done. But uh, this one, I got a ton of feedback from you guys on um, and on all outlets, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook. Uh, you guys were so sweet about the hair color. This was actually my first time playing around with Copics. That's what the hair is done with. The rest is Ohuhu, including the Ohuhu pastels, if you can't tell. This color combo is like my fave with Ohuhu pastels. Um, but yeah, I had received a lot of positive feedback, and that was pretty reassuring and really nice. Uh, like I said, I'm not the best at skin. But thank goodness you can't see the lines as well on camera. <laughs> so, um, and then this one here, this is a picture from Mariola Boudec that I did not too long ago. I did a pan pastel for beginners tutorial. And a lot of you were super sweet with your comments um, and my completed pages. You were very kind as well. And then I had done the hair as like a Whip Wednesday. And I also shared it on some Facebook groups and Instagram. And a ton of you were so sweet about it. So I really appreciate that. Um, I actually ended up saving this hair color because this was straight up a whim. I was like just grabbing pencils at random. <laughs> from my case and hoping for the best and actually I like it and so I'm kind of digging that but can't tell if it's like an auburn or dirty blonde or just a brown with I don't know it's something but it it turned out good so thank you guys for your sweet comments about that and then my gnomes in the neighborhood book I actually had I gotta find the pages though because I didn't pre-mark them if I was smart, I would have. It's not that one. One sec. We're going to flip through. So yeah, I love this book. Love it, love it. Don't know why I didn't keep the page marked. But I had just gotten the book. Oh, here it is. I had just gotten the book, so I was playing around with it on one of my first Whip Wednesdays. Gosh, it might have even been the first. I don't think this picture was in the first. It's a different one. I had two that I did a Whip Wednesday on. But both of them had incredible feedback from you all. Uh, this one especially, though, I got a ton of cute comments. And, it I mean, it did turn out super freaking adorable. <laughs> Look at that page. I love this book. I'm, I'm a fan. Like, I know some of her other books are just like, woo. But I love this gnomes book. And I almost wish I photocopied this one so I could redo it. So I'm probably going to buy a second copy because I just... There's some pages, but let me see if I can find that. Oh, here we go. So I'm pretty sure this is the one I did on my first Whip Wednesday ever. It was either this or the other one. I know it was the Gnomes book, though. Almost sure it was this one. But this one, um, that's when I started Whip Wednesdays, which was the beginning of this year. And so many of you have joined me on my Whip Wednesdays. We're up to episode 21, so 21 weeks of me just coloring and chatting. And it has been so awesome. There's new people that have come, people that have been around for a while that just stick around and like tune in every Wednesday. And I'm honestly like touched that some of you are, are that engaged and like actually want to see what I'm up to next week. Seriously, it means a ton, like more than I can put into words. Um, but yeah, so this book kind of has a special place in my heart because it kind of was the kicking off of my Whip Wednesdays, but also I, I had gotten a lot of subs and new subs from this, and then a lot of my subs that have been here forever just uh, started with the Whip Wednesdays with me and have stuck it out for 21 weeks. I mean, we're almost to week 22. So yeah, I this book is extra special now. All right, we have two more. So 
So these two are recent. Um, so we have the, the blue hair. This is a Mariola Boudec picture. I had started my hair series, ooh, April, May? It was announced on one of those, and a lot of you were so excited. But even better, you guys were so awesome in the community tab. Like I said, hey, throw a color and a pencil brand at me because I want to do them all. I don't want to just do purple hair and call it a day. I want to do purple hair and black widows, color soft, you know, anything you want. You name it, I will do it. Um, as long as I have the pencil. <laughs> but um, a lot of you replied, a ton of you. And then every week, you know, you guys are asking for other colors too. So I have a long list, but I'm not upset or intimidated. I'm thrilled because so many of you have participated in this. Like this hair series is entirely you guys. Like it's been dictated by you guys. I mean, granted, I pick what I'm in the mood to color. But I'm not picking any of these colors on my own. I am picking straight from what you guys have requested. And it has just been a blast. Like, I, I just don't have any words to describe it otherwise. <laughs> but thank you so much for everyone who's been participating in this. I'm, I can't wait to do more this month, actually. And then this lovely gal here, I actually just finished her. Uh, all I had left were her eyebrows and for some reason that took me a week. I don't know. <laughs> Partially because I forgot about them and then I was just like, well, I don't know. My pencil's out. Do you, anyone else have that problem? <laughs> but I finished her. I posted her on social media. Um, but this one was awesome. So many of you were so supportive of this. I did a vote for the hair. Um, I even did my first live stream and that day I live streamed that's when I realized I hit over 2,000 subscribers so kind of also holds a special place in my heart because this kind of this picture kind of is there during the 2k hit um but there's just so so much art that I have you know colored and learned so much over the years. I mean, I've come a long way in my own coloring journey. Um, those of you who have subscribed for a while have been amazing at sharing like things you have learned, um, which means a lot to me because that's kind of the entire point here. I want to teach you what I know, but I also want to learn from others. Like that's why I watch other colorists and check out what they do because I'm not perfect. I am far from it. Um, so I always feel there's opportunities out there. But yes, this last 1000 has come really quickly, but it has been fun. Um, like I said, I plan, I had mentioned this in my May completed pages and my June plans. I plan to do more live streams. You guys have been requesting it for a while, and I just kind of impromptu it last Sunday. <laughs> um, uh, but I think I'll stick with it um, because you guys are all so great, and you don't seem to care that I have littles who ask for snacks. So that makes you guys even better. <laughs> um, and so I think I will stick with that. And then, of course, we're going to continue with our hair series as we go on. But I just want to do a special thank you um, to, you know, the new subscribers and those of you who have literally been subscriber, like, number one and on. I have received, like, happy mail from you guys, which I can't thank you enough for. Um, any happy mail I get, uh, every time I open it, like, I actually get teary-eyed because it's... It's not just like, ooh, something's been sent to me. It actually means a lot. Like someone took time out of their day to package something up or buy something and send it to me. Like, and they don't even, you know, know me in person, but like it just, it means a ton. And I've been so grateful for those. And then those of you who just comment on all my videos or, you know, in social media, you all are so sweet and supportive. And then, like I've said, the last couple months, I have made some amazing friends in the coloring community um, because that's what this is. It's a community. We all have a hobby that we share, and I really think it's important that we all 
kind of work together, you know, and share our art, share our expertise, um, you know, and just kind of help spread the coloring love, if we'll call it that. I don't know. So I, I've had so much fun and, uh, for, you know, a couple of you, you know who you are. Um, you've been awesome also with just helping me through my journey and just even things in personal life. Like I said, I've made so many awesome friends, friends for life. Like everybody has been great. Um, so thank you everyone who has subscribed, whether you've been here forever or you're brand new, I genuinely appreciate it all. Like I I wish I could put it into words, but I'm a wordy person, so I'll probably put it into like an hour-long explanation if I do. <laughs> so just from the bottom of my heart, thank you. All right, so let's get to the good stuff. Um, this is my first giveaway ever. I meant to do one at 1K, but COVID, life, everything got a little crazy around then, and I forgot. So I'm like... Okay, I'm at 2K, let's do this. So I am doing a $50 Amazon card. That is because um, I can give that to you depending, you know, as long as your country has an Amazon website. So that I must make clear. Um, so there is a list of Amazon websites that take gift cards. Okay, and to specify those countries, and hopefully this list is up to date because it wasn't easy to find. Um, so obviously we have the Amazon US, Canada, United Kingdom, Germany, France, Italy, Japan, and Spain. Um, so as long as you're in a country there where an Amazon gift card can be sent because it will be sent to you via email, uh, then you are able to participate in this. So before I dive into the rules of my giveaway, I do have to make sure you're aware of some of the YouTube ones as well. <laughs> um, so you do need to know that the giveaway is by no means sponsored endorsed whatever by youtube they are not responsible for this in any way shape or form this is all on me so just keep that in mind um you know obviously the contest must comply with all relevant you know state and federal laws and then we cannot uh, infringe upon any third party rights or participate in any unlawful activity. So there's always those disclaimers. And then of course there is that, you know, myself and no third party will manipulate the metrics uh, to misrepresent like a genuine viewer engagement with the YouTube service, you know, such as likes, likes dislikes and all that. So, and then my contest must be free to enter. It is free to enter, no worries there. <laughs> so, and then of course the most important is you must have your own set of official rules, which I will have in the description below. I will also link them in my community discussion tab and they will also be available in my Facebook group. I do highly suggest if you have not joined my Facebook group, you'll get a lot of heads up announcements in there. If you are a fellow colorist, please come join my Facebook group. We are creating one where everyone can promote their art. Um, every Monday, you can share links to your channel. Uh, any day of the week, you can post your art with your channel or company or whatever's watermark. I always encourage that because it is your art. You shouldn't have to just, you know, exclude that. I don't consider that self-promo on my Facebook group. Um, but right now it's Mondays that you can self-promo like your links. And I may add another day. We're only doing that to keep down the spam so that people, I don't want to call it spam, but the traffic so people can actually discuss other things. But definitely come join us on my group. It'll also be in the description below. It is not required as part of this giveaway though. I will have the you know, the rules in there though. Okay.
So are you ready for the rules to enter this 2K subscriber giveaway? First of all, the first rule, and these will all be pasted below, is you must be subscribed to my channel. So make sure you have clicked the subscribe button <laughs> and that you've completed step number one. Number two is I will have a question that you must answer at the end of this video. Oh, so many things to do, right? Okay, and then number three, this contest starts from the day this video goes up, which is 6-4, June 4, at midnight, uh, MST, Mountain Standard Time. You'll have to do conversions on your own end. All right, and now the contest will run through the end of the week, so it'll go all the way until 6-6, six, six, which is Sunday, um, and we will be ending it at 11 p.m. MST, so that gives you some time to reply. I just don't want it to run too long, so that's why we're doing that. Now, the winner will be chosen the next day. So on 6-7, the winner will be chosen. I'll announce it on my Facebook group. Then I will also do a video announcement uh, for that winner. Of course, I do need to contact the winner um, and make sure all that is squared away first. Uh, so that is important, too. So if for some reason there's a delay, it may be announced on 6-8 at the latest. I'm just putting that out there in case someone's slow to reply or email. All right, so what is the question that you have to answer? Well, it's actually you have to give me a question. So I thought this would be fun, and I've seen another colorist do this. I want you in the comments below as your official entry into this giveaway to leave me a question. It can be anything, but it needs to be unique. So you cannot repost to the same question as the person above or below you. So it can be anything from what's your favorite, you know, brand of pencils to what's your favorite color, favorite coloring book. Um, on my Whip Wednesdays, we do a lot of question and answers, and I get some really funny ones, like what, what brand of pencils would you save in a fire? I mean, anything, as long as it's PG, of course, and appropriate for YouTube. <laughs> um, and it can also be questions about me, again, as long as it's appropriate. You know, I've had people ask uh, things like, what's my favorite food? Anything like that goes. So your official entry is one, to subscribe to my channel, and two, to ask me a question below, because when I do the announcement video, I will actually go through and answer all of those questions. And then at the end of that video, I will announce which one of you with your super awesome questions was the winner. Now, I am not picking the winner myself. I will have a computer system randomly pick a comment. So I have no, you know, no picking there, no control over that. The computer is doing it, which keeps it completely random. And then that way it's fair in my opinion. So yeah, let me know if you have any questions. Uh, well, if you have questions about this, message me on Instagram or Facebook because questions below need to be related to the giveaway. <laughs> so I don't want that to get confused. But I am looking forward to seeing the questions you guys post. I think this is going to be fun. And I cannot wait to see how the next 1,000 goes and hit that 3,000 and go from there. But thank you guys so much for supporting my channel, my hobby, my Whip Wednesday rants that I sometimes go on. You all have been beautiful people, amazing friends, and I cannot wait to keep moving forward. So until next time, take care.